Good evening. I'm calling to order the meeting of the Arlington Select Board from Monday, November 29th, 2021. This is Select Board Chair Steve DeCourcy. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Diane Mahan? Yes, thank you. John Hurd? Yes. Len Diggins? Yes. Eric Helmuth? Yes. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Adam Chapdelaine? Yes. Doug Heim? Yes. And Board Administrator Ashley Marr is participating remotely. Tonight's meeting of the Arlington Select Board is being conducted remotely, consistent with an act signed into law on June 16, 2021, that extends certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency. The act includes an extension until April 1, 2022, of the remote meeting provisions of Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 executive order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. Governor's order, which is referenced with agenda materials on the town's website for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Before we begin, let me offer a few notes. First, this meeting is being conducted via Zoom, is being recorded, and is also being simultaneously broadcast on ACMI. Persons wishing to join the meeting by Zoom may find information on how to do so on the town's website. All participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment, and those persons are not required to identify themselves for the broadcast. Both Zoom participants and persons watching on ACMI can follow the posted agenda materials also found on the town's website while using the Novus agenda platform. Finally, each vote tonight will be taken by roll call. I will now turn to item two on our limited agenda this evening, which is the final vote for the 21 precinct map. Um, joining us again this evening is our town clerk, uh, Julie Brazil. Good evening, Ms. Brazil. Good evening, everyone. Um, so this is uh, luckily going to be very fast and very simple. You've been provided with uh, the map, which was produced by the Secretary of State's office, and the table of uh, census blocks that was provided by the Secretary of State's office that does show all of the uh, census blocks in Arlington and which precinct they are now assigned to. And the final piece, uh, you uh, received a draft on Friday, I mean on Wednesday, of the text descriptions of the precinct boundaries. Over the holiday, uh, Adam Kurowski uh, revised that draft to fill in uh, the gaps that the state was unable to uh, sort of clarify. And uh, then the state, I provided that draft to the state this morning. They proofread it and agreed that uh, Adam Kurowski had used reasonable descriptions for things that are um, not roads and streets and slightly difficult to describe in writing. And I can now um, share with you that final document um, in draft form. It has a, a grand total of four typos. If you are comfortable with those, um, I can make those changes and um, you can vote on it and it'll all be done and sent off to the state in the morning. Um, any questions on that part so far? And then I'll show you the document. No, that's that, that's fine. Do you want to start with the map too? I don't know if we can start with the map and then go to the narratives, just. Oh, I'm happy to. Um, and, and just briefly, but I mean, it's a little bit. Um, and, sure. and, and just while we're doing that, and you and I discuss this, what there's no change in the narrative changes. There's nothing changed from what we voted last week. It's just. Um, some, some minor corrections that the state had suggested on some description items, is that correct? Yes, yes. Um, what you voted last week was the map. And so then we, it's just a question of producing the actual um, descriptions um, that go with, um, is that the map? Yep. All right, let me the map. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm, I'm getting word that we may be having some audio problems with ACMI this evening, okay. so it, it's, we'll try to work through those. All right, 
So this is the map. Um, the state prepared it based on um, the uh, files that Adam Kurowski sent, and they generated it in the formats that they want, um, including the table of uh, precinct names and populations and the variances. Uh, so this is just, it should be exactly the same. Um, I was able to you know, double check specific things and I double checked to make sure that we agreed um, on all of the population counts um, for every precinct. So uh, that's the map. And then I can share the text descriptions. Um, this is just a, a requirement um, in order to, uh, you know, the, in order to just, just describe um, as if you were standing literally on a corner, a street corner, and uh, walking the boundary of the precincts. Uh, the only changes. Uh, so what the document that was uh, posted on Wednesday had some gaps in it. Um, and this document has cleaned all of that up and been reviewed by the state. In precinct nine, I propose that we amend uh, the document so that we spell cemetery correctly, center line correctly. And the state, um, the state said, uh, suggested that we uh, describe proceeding northerly along Situate Street and then a little farther along, uh, proceeding along the shoreline of Spy Pond. Um, and it's not two, it's just a, along the shoreline adjacent to Pleasant Street. So it's just a slight clarification in the description. Um, uh, if it makes anyone feel any better, these four changes are purely grammatical and wouldn't have harmed the underlying accuracy of the, of the description. It would be uh, possible to tell. Um, what we meant um, in terms of the legal description. So um, we have the descriptions for all 21 and I'm happy to answer any questions people have at this point. In, in Ms. Brazil, one other question before I turn it to, to board members. Do you have a copy of the proposed vote that you can share with the board as well? If not, I can read it. Um, I can, uh, okay. but I mean, it's, it's pretty much one sentence um, if you'd like, if you'd yeah. like to read it. Sure. Yeah. It says, so what, what's going to be before us is we have the map, we have the narrative and the proposed vote um, that was sent over to us by, by Ms. Brazil, but also I think uh, suggested by the Secretary of State is it, it says we, the undersigned, hereby certify that at a meeting held on November 29th, 2021, the select board voted to accept as presented by the town clerk, the 2020 re-precincting plan for the town of Arlington. And if voted, it will have all five of our signatures. Um, so with that, I will now turn it uh, to the board and I'll start with Mr. Diggins. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And um, so um, Ms. Brazil, cemetery, oh. you're gonna correct the spelling of that? From what to what? Uh, it was missing an E. Okay, so you added E, because I wasn't sure, I thought, you, I thought what you had there was the correct, that is the correction, right? Yes. Okay, good, because being later on we had the two there and you hadn't you said we're not gonna have that. I was like, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll remove we'll strike the two. I got you. Yeah, okay. So now that we're in agreement on cemetery, I can mm -hmm. put this to rest in my mind. You know, so, so thank you. Okay, uh Mr. Helmet. Uh thank you. I'd like to move acceptance um, with the vote language that um, Mr. Corsi read. And um I want to add my thanks to the town clerk for her exceptional care uh, through this entire process up to the end here. And uh, the whole working group that she put together are, are very hardworking and very capable staff. Um, and uh, since he worked through the holiday, I want to give a special shout out to our GIS director, Adam Karowski, uh, who does a lot of unseen hero work for us in the town. And this is no exception. Uh, we are very fortunate to have his skills and his integrity uh, through this process. And I just had to, uh, to say something since we're looking at the product of his painstaking work. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Helmuth. Uh, Mrs. Mahan. Um, I definitely would like to second that. And I just want to make sure that um, 
The motion is to accept the town clerk's 2020 reprecincting plan for the town of Arlington. And included in that are the actual descriptions of all precincts um, as she has outlined. And I wanna also second Mr. Helmuth's um, remarks um, regarding Adam Kowalski. Unseen, unsung, all the ungs ever um, in terms of uh, what he's contributed not only to this item, but other things here in the town of Arlington. So uh, it's a great employee can never be replaced. So thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mrs. Mahan. I'm Mr. Hurd. I am happy to support the motion. And thank you to our wonderful town clerk for joining us again and to everyone that's worked on this. And I will third Mr. Helmuth's remarks regarding our, uh, our wonderful town staff. Great. Thank you, Mr. Hurd. Yeah, now for that, I, I also want to um, thank Ms. Brazil. There was a couple of questions I had at the end of the last meeting. She and I had follow-up conversations and, and uh, she actually showed me a few things and there's nothing that I would change. So I wanted to just close the loop on that and, and, and thank her for the work that she did. And Mr. Karowski, as I, I said, he's a hero of our, of our last town meeting, but also um, over the holidays doing a lot of work to make sure that this could be done for this evening. So we really appreciate the work that he did and, and the work that the other members of the reprecinking working group uh, have done over these last several months. So on a, a motion by Mr. Helmuth, seconded by Mrs. Mahan, Attorney Heim. Mr. Hurd. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Helmuth. Yes. Mrs. Mahan. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. It's a unanimous vote. Great. Thank you, Ms. Brazil. You're very welcome. Okay, so um, it's not very often before 7.30 that we move to new business, but we're gonna go right into new business and then we will have uh, an executive session after that. So I will start with Attorney Heim. No new business, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chapterland. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, one piece of new business tonight, uh, continued compliments to our Health and Human Services team the Arlington Public Schools, and really the town population as a whole. Um, we continue, the town continues to really dramatically lead in the rate of children ages five to 11 that have been vaccinated as compared to every other city and town in the Commonwealth. And uh, at almost a 90% clip. And it's truly a testament to the hard work um, and dedication of Christine Bongiorno and her team Superintendent Dr. Liz Holman and her team, um, and having residents and parents that follow the science and are making the choice to have their children vaccinated, um, and great support and help from the Arlington Fire Department and the Arlington Police Department and staff from the school department to quickly put together these clinics where all reports suggest the children that are coming to get vaccinated feel as safe and comfortable as you can feel when you're getting a needle in your arm. So uh, just want to, again, pay high compliments to the team of people that are working hard uh, to make these vaccinations available and um, congratulations on a job well done. Great. Thank you, Mr. Chapterlain. Uh, Mr. Helmuth. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I'm glad the town manager brought that out. Uh, I spend a fair amount of time on public service Twitter and social media and Arlington is, is actually the talk of the state right now. Uh, other communities are envious and in awe of our vaccination rates in general um, and of kids. And as Mr. Chaplin said, that really speaks to just how on top of this it is. And it's so important because, and, and, and hats off to the parents who trust the science, this will make everyone safer. The kids, everyone, the grandparents of the kids interact with. And it's just a real credit to, to our community that we're able to come together so quickly and um, to to do that and, and to jump on this. So so thank you for that. And please pass our thanks on to your team uh, for their continued hard work as we head into two to year three of this pandemic pretty soon. Um, you know, everyone's tired and they worked really hard as have all our town employees were very grateful. Um, I just wanted to highlight a couple of things that I've, I've been saving. Uh, I think it's really important for the community to know that uh, the town staff that works really hard to secure grants to supplement 
our revenues that we get from, from property taxes and other sources to make um, our program stronger and to make our dollars go farther. And uh, about, a, about a month ago, uh, the town announced $100,000 was awarded for the Department of Energy's uh, Green Communities Program um, to install high efficiency LED lighting fixtures at Pearson uh, Bracket Elementary Schools, insulation at the safety building, um, that's great because great revenue news, but it's also really great sustainability news for the town. And, and I would appreciate the town manager and his teams continued walking the walk um, in that area. And, and also in the area of open spaces and, and, and resources, uh, the planning and community development department select uh, secured a over $300,000 grant uh, to continue and improve the work at the reservoir, the restoration project there. Uh, which I've been following uh, for a couple of years, and I'm really excited to see that near completion and thrilled for the walking paths and the parking lot to be open next spring. Uh, but again, just kudos to, to that hard work to secure the grants. It's really important uh, for our financial picture and for improving the quality of life for the town. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Helmuth. Uh, Mr. Diggins. Because I have to jump at 7.40 and do new business. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Diggins. Mr. Hurd? No, no business. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Mahan. Oi vey. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just wanna, uh, since I know we have Susan Gilbert and other members of the news media, um, tuning in that um, the town of Arlington opened up the, or uh, reopened the COVID rent relief program and we have information on the town website uh, for people who may have applied for that in the past or may not have, that, that is once again open. So I, I definitely wanted to highlight that. Um, uh, I would leave with uh, the town manager, Mr. Chaplin, if um, sort of following up on his remarks, um, I know we had a very successful and early booked third booster vaccine at town hall for the residents of, of Arlington. I know there were a lot of residents that um, tried to book slots, but they went quickly. So um, if Mr. Chapdelaine could let us know through our Health and Human Services Director, um, if there will or will not be um, another uh, opportunity for that, which is fine either way. I just want to be able to tell people if there is something come up coming up. Please check the town's website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, however we are, or if... Um, myself and my colleagues say, you know, check out your PCP, your uh, pharmacy, CVS, Walgreens, um, and, and get it that way. Um, I would just like to, I have three and four. Three is, um, and I know uh, the chair and I shared an email about this, but um, I, I want to reiterate that uh, in terms of when we were discussing premium pay for town essential workers, not for Arlington residents, that I know I asked for, and I think perhaps in the same vein, Mr. Hurd um, was asking something similar to, to see the uh, premium pay formula that um, the town manager has come up with. I just wanna see what the formula is. I know the number of employees. I just wanna do the math. Um, I'm not trying to get involved in negotiations, although it's my opinion that uh, premium pay for essential workers, that's not a negotiable, and can't be a negotiable point. And there's no town employees on tonight um, because that has nothing, to, it's federal funding, which has nothing to do with town negotiations. Um, so again, I really wanna see that. Um, and then lastly, um, for a future meeting, I just wanna to bring to the chairman and, and my colleagues uh, attention. Uh, and I have had conversations with Mr. Chapeline on this um, regarding the Alwife NIPDES permit, um, uh, the waiver that's coming up soon um, uh, concerning not only the combined sewer overflows, CSOs that discharge in the brook from Cambridge and Sumble, um, but also the flooding issue. So I'd, I'd like to put that on in a future uh, and I'll speak further with the chairman and the town manager on this, um, because starting in, I believe next January, uh, the town needs to um, 
have its comments on the upcoming, it's every 15 years that the NIPTES permits open up. Um, but there's also some residents led by Kristen Anderson, uh, who is a town meeting member, who's very knowledgeable about this issue, um, who would like to speak to all of us on the board regarding the current NIPTES permit that's in effect and how Cambridge and or Somerville and the MWRA uh, committed to the current NIPTES permit to, to, to do some things and that hasn't been happening. Um, I, I don't wanna go into that because I'd like Kristen to present that because I don't, I don't wanna take um, some comments she would like to make for that. So that will, and I, I will speak with the, the chair, Mr. DeCourcy and Mr. Chaplain, the town manager um, about having that on <clears throat> perhaps in December or January for a sort of quick agenda item because the town did take some steps that the MWRA and the city of Cambridge and some of them committed to, but then when the DCR, Department of Conservation and Recreation, um, redesigned, renovated the areas down there, they took down um, one of the major points that we wanted out of the NIPTES permit for notification. So that's it for my new business. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Mahan. Um, yeah, and I briefly just have one or two things be before I get into that. We had a very limited ag agenda tonight because we added this meeting just for the sole purpose of um, approving or accepting the, the 21 precinct plan. We will have a full meeting next Monday. We will have open forum and we'll have a, a full agenda uh, on that evening next, next Monday. Um, I wanted to follow up on something. I spoke to the town manager about this today but we've been getting a number of calls at the select board office about the yard waste pickup in town and concerns about that. And um, there is a message on the recycling page on the town's website. Um, I think there are still some issues that do, what the town's asking is don't call JRM directly. The town is working with JRM. There have been delays, but um, I'm a Monday pickup and this is now the second Monday that there's been no pickup in, in our neighborhood. So it's what's, what's on that site right now, I think JRM is even further behind than, um, than we realize. I know they're working through this and we need to be patient, but I'm, I'm hoping if we can get some updated information for residents and, and continue to work with JRM on this issue because it's, 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 it's getting confusing to people in terms of how long this is gonna be because there's only one more week left of yard waste pickup the week of December 6th. So, I want to acknowledge the calls that residents have been making and let people know that the town manager and the DPW director have been working with GRM that, that there's a number of challenges this year that they're they're trying to work through and um, hopefully updated information can be provided soon on that. Um, the other thing I just wanted to uh, acknowledge, I want to acknowledge Christine Shaw, the Council on Aging. The Council on Aging had run a Thanksgiving meal on delivery last week and she ran that and uh, that was very successful and thank her for her efforts. Christine Bongiorno also went down um, in, and had participated in that and there was a number of volunteers. So that was a, a big success. So that's, that's my new business for this evening. Um, we are now going to go into executive session. Um, I believe we're only gonna come out of ex executive session to adjourn. The executive session is to consider the purchase of real property, 21 Maple Street, Arlington, Mass, 02476. If I could ask um, Mrs. Mahan for a motion for the executive session. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to make a motion to for the select board to enter an executive session to consider the purchase of real property, 21 Maple Street. Uh, and when we come out of executive session into open session, it will be near, solely for the purposes of adjourning. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Hurd. Okay, on a motion by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Hurd. Attorney Hein. Mr. Chair and Madam Vice Chair, can I just confirm one thing? That it would be uh, potentially uh, uh, problem, it would be potentially disadvantageous for the board's bargaining position to have a discussion in open session. Can I yes. Thank you, Attorney Hein. Thank you very much. Um, on uh, the motion, uh, Mr. Hurd. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Hellman. Yes. Mrs. Mahan? Yes, thank you. Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. Unanimous vote. Great, thank you. So for those participants who are on, we'd ask you to, to leave the Zoom call and uh, we'll just take a couple minutes before we start. <laughs> 